Okay, try to figure out the formal charge of this molecule using the formal charge formula below. So press pause, try working on it yourself, and then when you're ready, press play. All right, so let's start by asking the same question we ask every time, which is we need to figure out two things for every atom we're looking at. We need to know the number of bonding electrons. So those are electrons that are part of a bond. And we need to know the number of non-bonding electrons. So these are electrons which uh, might be part of bonded to an atom, but they're not involved in actual, they're attached to an atom, but they're not involved in an actual bond. So we call those usually lone pairs. Okay, so number of bonding electrons, let's start maybe with the hydrogen. Okay, let's start with this hydrogen over here. How many bonding electrons does this hydrogen have? Well, it's got a bond with nitrogen, in which case it's got two electrons. So it's got two bonding electrons. Okay, and that actually fills up the 1s shell of the hydrogen. So it actually can't fit any more electrons than that. Uh, there are no lone pairs around our hydrogen here. So there's zero for the non-bonding electrons. And the formal charge starts with the number of valence electrons in a free neutral atom of the given atom. So hydrogen has one valence electron, one, right? And we're gonna subtract half the number of bonding electrons. So one half times two gives us one. So one minus one. And the number of non-bonding electrons is zero. So one minus one minus zero. So that's actually a total of zero. So it's actually a neutral hydrogen. And, and actually, if you were to apply this for each of the other three hydrogens here, you, you'd see that we do the exact same type of calculation. So one minus one minus zero. It gives us neutral hydrogens in each case. Okay, so let's look now at the nitrogen, okay? And the hydrogens are all neutral, but let's have a look at the nitrogen. How many bonding electrons does our nitrogen have? Well, it's got four bonds, okay? And each bond has a pair of electrons. So a total of eight bonding electrons. And it has no non-bonding electrons, so no lone pairs or anything like that. Okay, and uh, because it's nitrogen, it's not hydrogen, it's got five valence electrons. So five in total um, in a free neutral atom of nitrogen. So five valence electrons. And if you look at the number of bonding electrons, there's eight, so one half times eight is four. So five minus four. And the number of non-bonding electrons is zero. So five minus four minus zero actually gives us a total of plus one, or just plus, okay? So there's a plus charge on the nitrogen. And uh, so we've got a, a positive charge on our nitrogen. It's got a formal charge of plus one. And the overall charge of the molecule is actually plus one. So this is sometimes called, or often called, I should say, not just sometimes. It's called the ammonium cation. And you'll see this EM used a lot in cases where uh, a molecule has a positive charge, so a cation, in other words, like you might hear the oxonium or hydronium, um, ammonium, phosphonium. Uh, this EM is often referring to a positive charge.